All right, everybody. We're live this time for another episode of the Walrus and Comic Wrestling Report. And Ron, we were talking earlier today, and you mentioned to me that you were ready for the uh, the Ultimate Warrior Dark Side of the Ring coming up, and that uh, the Ultimate Warrior was a hero of yours. That's right. And I'm kind of curious why you have this statement under our little picture here. Well, I asked you if you thought he was a good person or a bad person because you said something about your hero. And I was like, do you know what kind of person he was? And you kind of like assume he was he was always a good guy. And I was like, well, I have some interesting news for you. And the interesting news I have for you is he wasn't that good of a guy. You know, do you do you want to get into who he really? I mean, I'm sure you're gonna I'm sure you're gonna see it on the dark side of the ring. Do you want to get into it today? Well, I think we have to. But first, I want to say, like, you know, you have to think. Growing up, he wrestled Hulk Hogan WrestleMania six. Was that ninety one? Mm-hmm. Nineteen ninety one. Champion versus champion. Ultimate Warrior comes running out to his music. You know, beating his chest like King Kong. And I thought he was the coolest dude ever. I also noticed, I also noticed, um, I think you asked two of your friends what they thought too. And and what I've learned from this is that I don't know if this is common knowledge like I thought it was. It's it's not common knowledge. I, I'm telling you right now, whatever is under this is going to be a surprise to me. And I think it would be a surprise to most people. And there's two documentaries coming out. Mm-hmm. An A&E one and a Dark Side of the Ring. I like watching both different types of documentaries, yeah. right? Because the A&E one, even though it's more produced with WWE, it, it controls the narrative a lot more than Dark Side of the Ring, which is going to tell you pretty much every crappy thing the person done. Now, before coming into this, and before seeing this little article title under our picture and on the screen that you have behind it, if you ask me... If he was a good person, I'm going to say yes. Because everything I've ever seen portrayed of him was good. When he made his return in, was it 2016, yeah. before he died? Yeah. Everything was portrayed as good. He was a good guy. He, was, he did a lot he, for the business. The face of a cancer foundation. He was the face of a cancer fo- a foundation. Interesting. And the Warrior Award, named after him. Mm-hmm. And... So there's a lot of really good stuff out there about the Ultimate Warrior late in his life. Well, let's But uh, from what you're saying, I may not have the entire picture. And and that, my friend, I'm kinda I'm kinda nervous to see. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, you're talking about a childhood hero. Like I had all his action figures. I had those stupid stuffed plushes yeah. with the Ultimate Warrior and, and Hulk Hogan. And I made them wrestle all the time. And let me tell you something, brother. The Hulkster never won any of those matches. And, and this will be, um, if anybody wants to read this article, we're going to link it in the description. I'm only going to read like one or two things from it, one or two sections. And that's really it. I And I, I'm interested, if you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe, obviously. But I'm interested down in the comments, if you knew about the stuff that this article says. This article is from... 2017 it's from vice the uh the people who do the dark side of the ring the channel that that brings you dark side of the ring and before you show it off i, I want to kind of so the people actually know what we're talking about i asked two of my friends yeah, earlier today that. and here's what i said i said guys do you think the ultimate warrior was a good person or bad person not talking about the wrestler but as a person Two responses. One says, I'm going to say he was a good person. The second one said something like, the truth is all of us aren't perfect, blah, 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 blah. Life is complicated. But yeah, he's a good person. Well, he, doesn't know that he, just gonna, had, well, he doesn't know yet what we're going to get into. Not a single clue. And he doesn't know yet what we're going to get into. I know. I did ask a third person, mm-hmm. um, a guy who, who's followed wrestling a long time, kind of like us. And he's like, oh, wait, are you talking about this? And I was like, hmm. So I got a little preview, I'm mm. sorry, before before this. So I, didn't, I didn't research. So he knew. Right? So we have one out of three. Yeah, yeah, I didn't research anything. When you said we were going to talk about the warrior being a terrible human being, right. I didn't go research. I'm, I'm going with what my memories are. But mm. one of my friends did say had something. Had a little insight. He had a little insight. 
I didn't want to read it all because you know, he was he was telling me some things. Well, it's it, uh, it's interesting to me. The very first paragraph, if we scroll down here, <clears throat> the ultimate warrior once wished Bobby the Brain Heenan would die of cancer. Now the light, late wrestling icon is the emblem of w, WWE's cancer awareness campaign. And that's how we start. And, I, and that was a big moment. Like he went on a big rant about uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan and uh, cancer basically being justice, I think. And that that's not good. But and, and like I said, anybody who wants to read this article, it'll be in the description and three big things, we're not going to read them all here, but uh, it says right here, a few things this man said during a stint as an, aspire, as an aspiring conservative firebrand in the 2000s. All of these blog posts have been deleted, but through the magic of the internet archiving, we are able to track them down. So these were blog posts that you can go read for yourself. And he spoke about uh, Hurricane Katrina victims, and this one's kind of long, so I think we're going to skip this one. You can read that for yourself. But he basically uses a lot of theys and thems to yeah. say that they deserve it and they like chaos and destruction. Well, I mean, that's then, the centers of New Orleans, right? That's what he's talking about. And then right? when you get into the uh, second paragraph, you kind of find out you got to find out who he's talking about, the they and thems. Well, who are they? Who Bege talking? Beginning with the choice to sit on their ass, expecting someone else to hand them a wonderful, beautiful, healthy, and wealthy life, and excuse me for being the one to say so, but if you have a dozen kids and no husband to be a father... There are some holes in your life plan that should be sewed up. He didn't say that. Like, tell me he didn't say that. In case it isn't abundantly clear just who these people were, this article on the demographic makeup of Katrina victims should clear it up. So the they then becomes clear in his uh in his next paragraph. Yeah, it would I looked at, I skimmed through the first one a little bit while you're reading. Yeah. And and it's, it doesn't look clear. I mean, it's it could be anyway. So it could be just generalized the centers of New Orleans, right? Because right. we all know that's the old right. sin capital of the United States. Right, right. But then it. But don't worry, he clarifies. He, he comes he through. He comes through. The next one I find. Dude, it, you. I want to interrupt you. Okay. Do you know how much it sucks to find out your hero's a bad dude? Well, I asked you if you. That's why I asked if you wanted to get into yeah, it because I knew. But I I have to know right like. But I figured I figured you were gonna I figured you were gonna break into it when we start when you watch Dark Side of the Ring. There's two documentaries coming that well, listen, you're gonna see. Listen, I I would be overwhelmed if I if I was just watching Dark Side of the Ring first <laughs> before seeing this. At least now I can kind of yeah, prepare but, myself. And I, and what I'm hoping is like this gets people more interested, more invested in watching the Dark Side of the Ring. Like they're gonna see this stuff. Well, it needs to get people invested in re like relieving themselves of this guy being a hero. True. Like, I mean, I'm actually, I'm kind of mad right and, now. And that's really all I'm doing here is trying to get people interested in the episode coming up. Yeah. And sharing this article to get to get people interested and to let them know kind of what's coming. Because I had heard this from people like Jim Cornette talking about him. So I kind of knew some of these stories because I listened to a lot of a lot of their podcasts and a lot I, of their Yeah, talks. I'm just not a huge Jim Cornette fan because I think he talks out of his behind a lot. He, well, he and knows well, a lot. Apparently, apparently, he wasn't talking out of his behind. <laughs> On, and I, I, this one is a wild statement. I started to say I love it, but I don't love it. It's a wild statement because it is on the injustice of Martin Luther King Day. The injustice of Martin Luther King Day. these come from his blog? Yeah. From him trying to be noticed as like a, a hot conservative name? Mm hmm Martin marched a few times from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. It's only about 40 miles walk to pay security, blah, 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 blah. He wrote a few jailhouse letters, plagiarized a great many speeches, and played up his last name, King, as if he was one. He led his best rally amid the monuments of Washington, D.C., preached proper righteous behavior, while at the same time he committed adultery many publicly verifiable times. Oh, and he had a dream one to see a race of people freed completely from discriminant oppression. I don't even know what that last part means. I, like I don't, I don't know why he threw so, that last part in there. Yeah, but he had a dream. But what he's saying is the fact that we have a Martin Luther King Day is an injustice to America. I think, basically, this kook, this crazy person. I I don't know what you want me to say here. And, there, and there's a few things like, that we won't read on here, like his speech on queer studies. And uh, he goes to say some things about 
the uh, the death of actor Heath Ledger, who played a homosexual character in the film Brokeback Mountain. And he, uh, we're not going to... We won't get into those two. You can go read them for yourself. So was the Ultimate Warrior like a religious dude? Who can say what he was? I mean, he, he has to... He sounds like, like he sounds like he has he to be was, an, a religious extremist, right? He sounds like he was a Christian nationalist. Is what he sounds like to me. Okay. I mean, it's... There's a lot of things that point to that in that article. Yeah, he sounds no. like he's a Christian nationalist to me. A Christian you know, nationalist who did a lot of cocaine and their brains fried. So now they're just rambling. I think he just did a lot of steroids. So now they got to do. You think he did cocaine? Mommy, he needs to die of cancer. Let me tell you, I'm more than the King Jr. and why I don't like him. I don't know, dude. Like, this, this hurts, like, seven-year-old Ron's dreams. Well. And, like, feelings. Like... I'm gonna I'm tell you, man, like, for the longest time, I just thought he was a good person. Like, I never heard anything out of him after he left his little stint with WCW. Mm-hmm. I was in elementary school. In the early 2000s, I was in middle school. I was doing fan club, like, sites for Sting because he was my favorite wrestler of all time. And I was finding pictures and throwing those up. And I had people actually really like that and all that stuff because the internet was really just being born. And so I actually don't, like... I don't know, like, and, and people think we're going to be like, 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 people probably watching this think I'm lying, but until you brought this up, I had absolutely no clue. Yeah, no, we really had a conversation, we really had a conversation yes, about who was. you thought he was before you knew that I was it, bringing this article up, and you really didn't, you didn't know he was this kind of person. You, you know, like. And like I said, I'll say again, I thought it was common knowledge. I was baffled it, that you didn't know it, about it, this And it's stuff. not common knowledge, and it. This is a, a good part right here to kind of pause. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of flustered. Oh, yeah, I Because like, I just don't really know what to say. But I want to know in the comments of the chat, did you know that the Ultimate Warrior was a bigot? Do Like, did you know he was a bad human being? Please comment down below and let us know. And if you're on the side that you view he wasn't a bad person, please never watch another one of our videos ever again. Or tell us why. Tell us why. I don't want to You know what? I don't even want to. You think he wasn't a bad person. Listen. Go read the article and tell us that. I'm, I'm gonna kidding. have to let I'm you. Kidding. I'm gonna have to let you like I'm respond to all this. Kidding, by the okay. way. I was about to say because I could say that person probably should just go like jump off a bridge. Yeah, I'm kidding. You by know, way. like it. All right, so come defend him down in the comments. There's no way. Don't. If somebody do listen, I never co- post in the comments. But if somebody comes to defend him, I will create an alternate account and I'm gonna slaughter somebody. <laughs> okay, because like that that's got to be the most ignorant thing. Because here here's how you know you can progress as a human being when you find out something about someone who was your hero, and you find out there's something so negative like this that should be enough reason to never look at them in high guard again, unless they can make that up and, and do due diligence over the next so and so years to make it up, which. He can't, by the way, because yeah. he's dead. His, like, if he's still your hero, you're just as bad as him. His wife, by the way, says that the documentary coming up is un is unfair to him. And that's that's the dark side of the ring one. Yeah, because she had unfair. nothing to do. Is unfair it. to him because she says. she she wouldn't add anything to it, so she thinks that everything this, they got is that this shit. You know what I'm, they're gonna say about him? I'm really interested to, to see this documentary now. Yeah. And you know what? I'm gonna watch both of them. Because I read the article and her point was that he changed right before he died. And that documentary is unfair to the person he was when he died, because he changed. Right before he died, huh? Yeah. Didn't Hitler change right before he died? He changed. He you know, changed. Like, he's a he's a changed man. Right Ron, before he died, huh? Ronnie Terry. You know, maybe he did. Man. You know what you know what? With the WWE who distances themselves from people like this all the time. Who fires people? Listen, they can't make a, as much money refer- off of them. A referee on NXT just got fired because of his ultra conservative views that he shared on Twitter. They can't make as much money off of him. You know what Vince McMahon cares about. Come on, he he I know bet. Wouldn't you draw the line? No, here? he doesn't. He doesn't have a line. He doesn't have a line. That's what I keep telling you. He doesn't have a line. And I mean, they so probably the paid to get a lot of this crap off the internet too. He, that's he what bet. they do. That's he, what they do with the female stars who have like their porn on the internet. He made they a bet to get it taken down. He made a bet that most people 
that their demographic didn't know this stuff and that he could make money off of him. And he apparently he was right. Oh, he was right. Apparently. I didn't know yeah, in 2016. Right. My two roommates didn't know in 2016. So it was a good they bet. didn't even know today. So it was a good bet. Most people probably don't know. So tell us, did you know or did you not know? And how do you view him now? And it because it, it upsets me to my core. You know, give me that stupid little hand thing you got over there. Because I'm stressed out right uh -huh. now. I'm really freaking upset. Because when you find out your hero as a child, one of your heroes, because Sting was my other. Thank God he's still doing something. I don't think you're going to lose any bets I, on Sting. Okay. Like, but, but like when you find out the one, one of the people you look up to, which is a crappy human being, yeah. it destroys your soul. I don't think and right now, I'm not, I'm just, I, I don't feel good about this because if I had anything that was left of the Ultimate War, I'd throw it away. Like, I that's mean, how mad I am. Right I mean, I, after Dark Side of the Ring, I, that's what I, that's what I hope And that comes happens. out in the do first week have, of June. Do they still have that, uh, the organization with his face on it? Do they still do Yeah, that? it's his award. It's a, oh, the award has his face, like his mask. That'll be interesting to see if they keep that after the documentary. We'll, we'll find out, but I imagine like it won't make any like I imagine Vince will just play it off as oh it's just trash. They yeah, don't he really won't know what they're doing. He won't give a shit. You know, and and you know maybe there's a lot of people out there who don't care about it. And I'm gonna say go back to watching NASCAR. Yeah, that old man doesn't give like a it. Shit. Just it, it upsets me, dude. I I'm very very. I just want to throw something right now. But please leave us a, a comment down below. Did you know? Did you not know? How do you feel now? Are you going to watch the documentary? Are you, like, Do you think either one of the documentaries is going to change your view on him? And please, if you're interested to know more, check out the link at the bottom to this article that comes from Vice News. And this is the same company who's doing the documentary Dark Side mm -hmm. of the Ring. All right? And so please, guys, check it out and... Let us know what you think, and uh, we have a big we have a big announcement coming on the AE uh, on about in relation to the AEW pay per view, and we're going to run that card down. That'll be coming tomorrow. Today is um, the hell is the date? Today's it is May twenty sixth. So tomorrow we will have a video coming uh, about that card, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this content today. We hope you comment and tell us what you knew about Ultimate Warrior, and uh, please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. This has been the Walrus and the Comic Wrestling Report, and we love you all.